A senior fire officer in Shropshire has reacted furiously to the theft of cutting equipment from one of the services stations. He says the thieves have put lives at risk and he has questioned the moral compass of society. Well, the break-in at Albrighton Fire Station left crews out of action until the equipment could be replaced. Shropshire Fire and Rescue says it also had to spend £150,000 on new security measures. Callum Watkinson reports. The cutters used to rescue motorists from the mangled wreckage of their cars are known by firefighters as the jaws of life. So vital is this kit in their response to traffic accidents. But in June, crews working out of Albrighton in Shropshire found themselves without theirs after thieves broke into the unmanned station and stole them. Albrighton was effectively out of action until they were replaced which put the rest of the service under pressure and the people of Shropshire in danger. If you imagine being trapped in a, in a vehicle, uh, significant injuries, then um, we talk about the golden hour and every minute within that golden hour counts. So we need people out as quickly as we possibly can get them. 26 years I've been in the, in the fire service and this is the, the first occasion that we've had uh, break-ins to the stations and this type of equipment stole. Um, it, it does call into question the, the moral compass of these individuals. Maybe it's broken, maybe it's even missing. The service has had to spend £150,000 on security improvements, new entry systems, motion sensors and CCTV. But help is at hand from Telford-based firm Smartwater. Their traceable liquid leaves a unique forensic code, impossible to see and difficult to remove, which links property to location. We have a 100% record of contested cases in court. Um, police nationally are looking for smart water um, and there are UV lights in every custody suite across the country. All of Shropshire Fire and Rescue's equipment has now been marked. Investigations to recover the missing cutters are ongoing. Callum Watkinson, ITV News.